As soon as the bomb went off inside the arena, a group of British transport police officers ran to help. When a bomb's just gone off, there's people everywhere, blood everywhere. Outside, it was chaos. It was Ariana Grande's concert, and eight-year-old Safi Roussos loved her. She was just five metres from the explosion. Initially, Safi's family were told that she died quickly, but they wanted a second opinion, and they found that Safi survived for over an hour, and she asked, am I going to die? I knew that I had to read this report. I knew that I had to digest it, but total shock to what I was reading. Total opposite to what I had in my head altogether. Um, I, f I feel gutted for Safi. That's how I feel. I'm, I'm, I'm distraught anyway, but I feel gutted for that little girl. Both Safi and 28-year-old John Atkinson might have survived their injuries. The next phase of the inquiry is examining just how the emergency services responded and which mistakes were avoidable. We are not investigating the emergency response on some theoretical basis, scoring it against some assumed list of points. Instead, we're considering how an emergency response may save lives, and if so, by what means that is to be achieved, and whether it was in fact achieved on the 22nd of May 2017. The pandemic means that even the inquiry chairman is following this from home. The ambulance service are too stretched to be able to attend, but the resolve is there to carry on for everyone who survived that night and the 22 men, women and children who lost their lives. Tom Parmenter, Sky News.